Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and here's another free macro from our friend Eskimo that does this for the community, just like I do videos for everybody trying to help people out. He makes macros, and this is a cool one. So you could have these any distance apart. I'm going to hit T and put them to the all to the top of the page so I can measure them more easily. And I'm going to go from the center of that triangle to the quadrant of this circle. Then I'm going to go from the quadrant to the midpoint of that one. And I'm going to go from the center to the center of the star. Now, we've got four objects and they're all four different spaces apart. Well, I didn't measure. I guess I did measure them all. So then all you do is bring in his macro, and I'm gonna have a link at the bottom of the video on where to get this. Then just select, and make sure you don't select this, and let's change them to 10 inches apart, and then hit apply. Well, what I did, I must have grabbed that. Right there, so let's go apply. Now, as you can see, it moved all the centers 10 inches apart. I haven't played around with this, but you know, your vertical, top to bottom, bottom to top, left to right. So let's just see what, so we're using left to right, so it did not change this position. So let's do it again, hit apply, and it, well, it happened so fast. Let's put an indexing line right there. And now it's not going to move that triangle because it's going from the left to the right. Hit apply. So now let's back up and let's do this and say, I don't want the star to move. Now we're going to go right to left. So now the star didn't move and then they all moved 10 inches apart. That's not right because that's the uh, something else. I guarantee that's 10 inches apart if we get the parallel dimension tool back and go from that quadrant to that quadrant. They're all three or 10 inches apart. So watch his video. He's got some demos, but I'm gonna put his link to this macro at the bottom of this video. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.